Mr. President, I'd like to call the November 20th, 2012 Board of Zone Appeals meeting to order. Will you please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Oops. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'd like to introduce the board members starting on my right. Nancy Plesnarski. Jim Hilly. Walt Recook. Gary Willis. Todd Chernick. Rita Young. We need a motion and a second to approve the October meeting minutes. I'll make the motion to approve. We need a second. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor of approving the October 2012 meeting minutes, raise your right hand. Abstain. It was not here. We have one abstain. Okay. Rita abstain. She wasn't here. The Board of Zoning Appeals is a quasi-legal board composed of resident volunteers of the City of Milton. The board is charged with hearing requests for variances from the standards of the zoning ordinance and appeals of administrative determinations. With regard to decisions on primary variances, the board's basis for decisions is provided by these four considerations. A, relief if granted would not offend the spirit or intent of the ordinance, and B, there are such extraordinary and exceptional situations or conditions pertaining to the particular piece of property that the literal or strict application of the ordinance would create an unnecessary hardship due to size, shape, or topography or other extraordinary and exceptional situations or conditions not caused by the variance applicant and C relief if granted would not cause a substantial detriment to the public good and surrounding properties and D that the public safety health and welfare are secured and the substantial justice is done our first hearing is B11-011 to allow an accessory structure to be located in the front yard Robin, will you please present? Okay, this item, um, Angela does not have a, I don't have a uh, staff report for it, but from my understanding, I guess we're waiting for Mr. Matthews to appear. Is Mr. Matthews here? Nope. So, um, all I know is I did talk to our uh, stormwater engineer, and he stated that um, he hasn't uh, been able to give him the items that have been required of him to meet the circumstances or what he needs to submit to try to uh, correct his problem. So just for your information, nothing has been given over to us. We haven't heard from him. Angela I tried to contact him a few days ago. So that's my report. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, just out of curiosity, is, is there a chance because because uh, she's out of town that he could have left her a message and everything well the emails are coming to me and it says that she's out of the office so but could there have been just... a voice message left on the phone without her yeah, knowing I guess there's a possibility um, and I kind of hate to have this all of a sudden if he did make a phone call or had a question or something that has come up at the last minute but uh is there a sign posted on the property for this for a new meeting? I do not know. I I can't answer that. Okay. Okay. I know. I don't think it's been re advertised in the paper. No. Okay. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Recook, have you heard anything uh, on this topic from the, your state meetings? From what I understand at the last meeting, they did just get him the information. It was not something that he had at the last time of the last meeting. So he may have just gotten it, I don't know, the, the week of our meeting. Um, uh, although the lady who was handling it was not at the meeting, so I, I can't really confirm it with 100% uh, confirmation, but the chairman said, oh yeah, um, Sally Mills is to get that paperwork to him, but I can't tell you 100% that that's what what occurred. Um, so, is everyone on the board familiar with what we're discussing? The, yeah. 
So, uh, Councilor, I have a question. Sure. If, if we would deny this application, because this structure is already built, correct? It is already there. Would he have to tear that down? He would have to find some way to avoid being out of compliance, whether that's to move it, to tear it down, something. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, to move this along, I, I'm just going to make a motion to uh, postpone this to our next meeting. Um, again, for two reasons. Uh, one, I'm not sure if a message was left or not left to staff. And, and then secondly, I'm not 100% sure that he had all the paperwork from the Fulton Soil Water Conservation Commission to get it executed. So because of those two concerns, I feel like giving him another 30 days. And I just pray, do we have anything else on the agenda for December? I believe he, she has one item, a regular Okay, so variance. as long as we're not coming to a meeting for nothing, like we did last month, I would be very upset about coming to find out that he had nothing to report, didn't show up to the meeting, and then we show up and, and no one's there. That's not something we appreciate doing. But uh, I'll second. Was that Mr. Turnick? Yes. Okay. We have a motion and a second to defer to the next meeting. Any discussion? Yes, uh, I do have Yes, sir. Is there any way we can get uh, confirmation from uh, uh, Fulton County Soil and Water I, Conservation? I have a meeting tomorrow night with that board, so I, I will, again, see if the lady who was handling it, it's a, another board member, and uh, she's an attorney by trade, and she was to forward that information. Like I said, she was not at the meeting, but I could call her. In fact, I can call her tonight. Well, if, if you can, would it be, in, you know, an imposition to ask if you would send a note to Angela confirming sure. whether those documents have been sent for execution? Okay, I sure will. And I'll copy this, this, uh, the uh, other board members. Thanks, Walt. Thank you. Any other discussion? Yeah, oh. um, just, uh, since we're adding about what we might do in between, I would, and I can do this, but I'll put it in the minutes that ask that we try to do the most we can to uh, document notice directly to the applicant mm -hmm. uh, in this Great. case since I, I, I get the sense that there is a move towards taking more serious action um, and I'd like to make sure that he's receives at least notice uh, that we can document would you like sure. it to be registered mail mm -hmm. uh, that sure that would be a, uh, probably a better course I mean, and we, we can talk about offline, but I just want to put it in the minutes. A lot. Yeah. And it, for an abundance of caution, that, um, making sure that it's posted for the, with a sign mm -hmm. and in the in public notice. Okay. In, in an email, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so. Any other discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor of deferring V11-011 to the December 2012 meeting, raise your right hand. Opposed, same side, it passed unanimously. Our next petition is V12-014 to allow a fireplace in the side yard. Robin, will you please present? Sure. Um, the background is the site, 16485 um, and 14150 Biscuit is at 1.3, can't be both of them, I'm not sure which one it is. 14150 Sea Biscuit is a 1.38 acre lot zoned in, in the Triple Crown subdivision CUP per RZ uh, 2060. I believe that would be 00. Um, it is located in the Northwest Fulton overlay. It includes a two story brick house. The owner, Mitchell Hobbs, has constructed a pool, pergola, and 10 foot tall wood burning fireplace in the backyard. Unaware that a fireplace required a separate building permit, the contractor Atlanta Pools constructed the fireplace along with the pool and the patio. At final inspection, the building inspector informed them of the permit requirements. Staff notes that this is not a new requirement. A separate permit for freestanding fireplaces is required by Fulton County as well. The 10 foot tall fireplace is approximately 33 feet from the side property line. The rear yard is defined as the distance between the rear lot line and the structure of the house. 
The side yard is considered the part of the yard which is not a front or rear yard. In other words, the area from the side lot line to the side of the structure. The fireplace encroaches into this side yard by approximately 10 feet. Section 64-772B2 states that outdoor fireplaces may only be located in the rear yard. Therefore, a variance is required. At the Design Review Board on November 6th, the DPRB offered the following comments. Suggests that the applicant gets a letter of approval from adjacent homeowners. Uh, there were no additional departmental comments on this item. And uh, regarding the standards for consideration, um, the applicant responds as follows. Relief, if granted, would not offend the spirit or intent of the ordinance because the location of the fireplace would in no way affect any of the neighboring properties, nor would it harm the view or the usable area of any neighboring property. Due to the proximity of, of the proximity of the swimming pool and the rear of the home, the fireplace would need to be within the setback boundaries, but slightly beyond the sideline of the home in order to ensure a safe distance between the pool and the fireplace. Relief, if granted, would not cause a substantial detriment to the public good and surrounding properties. No draining or grading would e adversely affect the nearby uh, properties, and no view would be obstructed or encroached to other properties. Granting this variance would result in equal or great protection to the homeowner's property as well as adjacent properties. All safety and health requirements and regulations would be strictly adhered to, and the fireplace would not extraordinarily vi be visible to any neighboring properties. Recommended conditions. Should the board choose to approve this application, staff recommends the following conditions. There have been no conditions at this time. And that is um, staff's presentation. Thank you. Are there any questions to staff from the board members? Yes, sir. Um, can you see this uh, fireplace from the street? Um, I have not been to the location. Angela is the one who did the actual picture, so you might want to have to ask the applicant. Sure. And do you know the distance that it's outside of being directly behind the home? It looks like it's about 10 feet is what it looks like. So in other words, Mike's... The encroachment is... If I extend the side side of the house um, yes, up, okay. it looks like it's about 10 feet. And that's what the background says as well. Mm -hmm. Just pointed out to me. So I'm just trying to understand what parameters we've got here. <clears throat> she did this picture from the road. I don't know if you, right. you can't see it. Sure. So, Mr. Recook, you're saying that it's, you think that the fireplace is 10 feet away from the rear of the house? No, no. If you projected the sides oh, of I the see. house, yes. Yes, you're correct. and really you almost have to use the actual uh, fireplace that sticks out. Correct. And um, when you use that projection, it looks like it's somewhere within that 10 foot. Right, you're correct. Yes. You know, plus or minus a foot or two, depending how big and regular the rock are. So. Okay, well, that's why I want to just clarify. You said, am I, am I understanding the conditions I'm looking at? And then secondly, it looks, you know, we don't have a topo map either, but it looks like this is falling a good bit away from the street as well. Mm -hmm. So it looks like there's a, maybe as much as a 8 to 10 foot difference in elevation because if I'm looking at the basement, this looks like it's at the basement level. Um, if I remember what I saw out there, it looks like it's a good six to eight foot lower. Probably closer to 12 or 13. The road, the road rises as it goes up by beyond the okay. My name is Michael Cochran. Hang on just, hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Any other questions for staff from the board members? I, I do have one question. When, um, when this was originally brought before the planning group for this pool, was this plan illustrating the fireplace included in that permit for the pool? Um, you'd have to ask the applicant that, but I will make a defense that it would be, if, if there was not a separate permit, it would have been kind of difficult. I could see where we could have overlooked where the fireplace was because it's, it looks like stone, like the rest of the stone patio. 
So I can't really, you'd have to ask the applicant whether right. it was the same plan that was submitted. I imagine it was, but. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, now, sir, if you would state your name and address and please present, we'd certainly appreciate it. I'm Michael Cochran. and I represent Atlanta Pools. I'm here on Lisa and Mitchell Hobbs, residing at 14150 Seabiscuit, Milton, Georgia. That's a Triple Crown subdivision. Um, listening to a couple of your questions, um, the way this job was permitted and sold was that was going to be a fire pit area. And uh, mid uh, middle construction, uh, they wanted to add a fireplace uh, to answer your question, Todd. Um, <clears throat> Uh, a lot of other counties, fireplaces and something that has to be permitted. Um, Milton, it is. Uh, so no permit, permit was pulled originally because there was not going to be a fireplace. Um, the fireplace does exceed 10, roughly approximately 10 foot uh, past the sideline of the home. Um, there is a pretty large landscape buffer between the fireplace and the street. Uh, you would almost have to get pretty much in front of the next door neighbor's house to the right of the property to see the fireplace. Um, right now, currently, um, I do have a, a contract to build a pool on the house neighboring the fireplace. Uh, they're in approval of the fireplace. Um, we have a letter. I'd be happy to present it to staff. Um, I have it by email. Um, I can get it over to you. Um, I have it on email. I'll, I can send it to you by email. Uh, but we're under we're under contract to build a pool with them as well, so it's you know, they're well aware of the situation. With a fireplace, um, we haven't got that far. Um, I think they want to do a <laughs> fire pit. We haven't gone to permitting. We just got it under contract. Anything else? No. Go ahead. I was ready for questions. Okay. Questions, it's Mr. Layman. Is that correct? Uh, my name is Mr. Cochran. The layman, uh, layman is the owner. He is out of town with Thanksgiving holidays. I'm filling in his shoes. All right, All right Mr. Cochran, um, since you are aware of permitting in, in most jurisdictions, uh, why was that not followed in this case? Like I mentioned before, the fireplace was an added feature about mid-stride of construction. We had already permitted the pool. Um, fireplaces don't have to be permitted in a lot of other counties. Um, here it's considered a structure, so it would need to be permitted, um, and that's what we're finding out uh, with it being in a side setback that it's considered a structure, so we can't have a structure in the side setback. That's why I'm here before you tonight to ask for forgiveness, uh, slap on the hand, lesson learned, and let's move forward. And uh, if this comes again, we'll know to permit it. Well, the, the problem I have with just a slap on the hand is that your company is well known for making building a lot of pools around our community. That is correct. And it's not the first one they built in our community, nor the last. That's so correct. I think it's important that, that you understand that, that we don't like having variances like this come up. This is a situation where you need to be doing things by the book. I would and, and if you feel that you're not sure whether a permit has to be obtained or not, then you need to be going ahead and checking with the building officials to make sure that occurs. And, I would agree. Uh, so you're getting your slap is what you're getting right now. Not a problem. I take it <laughs> and, with a smile. Uh, and, my question to you is, if you don't mind, I hate to interrupt you. We've been building pools and fireplaces and walls in your county since you've been here and before. Sure. We haven't run into this instance where a side yard structure needed a variance, even if it was permitted. So right. I think the half of the reason I'm here in front of you is a, a something was implemented to new um, and we were kind of caught in the middle with this process on the pool. Uh, I may okay. be wrong, but I think I'm right. Um, if you would elaborate and let me know if I'm right or I'm wrong, it would be great. I, I'm not aware of any change in our code that would have would have uh, made that occur recently or, or for that matter since the codes were adopted. Um, I believe that it be it under Milton regulation or Fulton County regulation. Um, I think one of the points that I was mentioning initially is that you know thankfully it's well screened and uh, and we cannot see it from the street Correct. Um, but I really need to see that letter from that homeowner Not if there's any way you can email it to someone with a blackberry so we can at least look at it I'd appreciate it. otherwise I'd rather just table it let you come back 
that would be fine as well. I can get it to staff I think it's immediately. It's very important for us to make sure that, you know, per even the other board's recommendation, that we have an understanding. I mean, if it's something, if you've got a BlackBerry or you've got um, some means, do you have that capability or? I, it's at my office on my secretary's where we got it from Mrs. Hobbs and they're away with holidays as well. Um, so okay. I can, I'll look through my folder of notes. I'll stand aside and maybe you can hear the next case and I'll look through my notes to see if I have a copy in my I'm folder. just one vote. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, others may, may look at it differently, but I, I want to make sure that all of a sudden I'm not approving something that I definitely have a, have an issue with the adjoining neighbors because maybe <coughs> we need to be asking you for screening it from them. But the main purpose of that ordinance or regulation, like you're stating is basically so it can't be seen from the street you're you're basically putting it behind the house Correct. but in your defense as well if the house is cocked one way or another and the street goes in another direction which it is you know and and this is a case where you have those situations you know sometimes the ordinance doesn't completely make sense but it's got to be behind like the shadow of the house I would um, agree because you could comment. still see it when you come around this corner or curve but the intent is to screen it and I think and technically, I think because of the elevation change as well as the mm -hmm. plants are there, you're well screened from the street, but at the same time, um, I'd just like to make sure we don't have an issue with the adjoining owner. I would agree with that. Okay. So there's no way you can access your email from? Not on my iPhone to my company. That's a, that's a you know, it's got a heavily guarded email. I think like my iPhone's gonna tap right into that. Okay. When were you aware that you needed to provide us with the letter from the neighbors uh, we had talked about it last week and I had it by email and like I fumbled through my papers and I didn't see it but I will check again um, I brought the whole job jacket with me and it's uh, probably 150 papers for permitting and everything else and I fumbled through it and I didn't see it quickly here a few minutes ago I can look through it again or I can be postponed I don't mind coming back and presenting a letter to you whatever you guys would recommend I'll be happy to do We need to make a motion to modify yeah. the agenda. Well, let's, 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 let's go through this here then. Um, have a seat real quick and we'll, we'll get right back to you. Thank you. Let me fumble through that folder okay. one more time. Thank you. Anybody here for public comment? Okay. Any questions for the from the board to staff? Okay, so we need uh, a motion. Well, I'll, I'll make a motion to modify the agenda to move P's 11-014 uh, uh, to the last item on our agenda. I'll second that. It's V12. They're, they're wrong. V12, sorry. I second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to move V12-014 to the end of the agenda and move V12-015 up. Any discussion? Mm -mm. Yes, sir. Is that the proper terminology? Are we really just postponing the hearing? Are we are we changing the public? At this time, I believe um, you will have called for public coming in, in theory could close the public hearing subject to being reopened when it's recalled and at, uh, with the postponing to the end of the agenda may be, may be more appropriate since the item's already been called in its existing position. What we don't want to do is open it all up again and have the whole thing start all over. Postpone it to the end of the, is that what we're, is that yeah, we're it, looking to modify? It, if the motion is to postpone the item to the, uh, postpone con, uh, consideration of the item to the end of the agenda, this evening's agenda. <laughs> I'll make a motion then uh, for council's advice to uh, postpone V12-014 to the end of today's agenda. I will second that. We have a motion and a second to postpone to the end of the agenda. Any discussion? Mm -mm. All in favor of the proposal, raise your right hand. Pass unanimously. Our next petition is B12015 to allow a barn 30 feet from a side property line. Robin, will you please present? Yes, sir. Uh, the site 
Tullamore is an equestrian subdivision. Most of the lots are fenced for horse pastures. The lot consists of approximately 4.3 acres and is zoned AG1. It is located in northwest Fulton Overlay. The original home built on the site has been demolished, leaving the foundation, deck, and pool. The property is wooded and slopes down from the pool area to a lake. The owners, Jeffrey and Don Meyer, have proposed to build an 864 square foot, two stall barn, approximately 30 feet from the side property line. The owners state that their proposed location is best in terms of wind, drainage, and topography, topographical layout. Section 64-415A4A states that barns housing animals must be a minimum of 100 feet from all property lines. Since the proposed barn would be 30 feet from the left or the north side property line, a variance is required. At the Design Review Board on November 6th, um, the DRB offered the following comments. It's a nice looking barn. Question of aesthetics, the view was the applicant's reason for not moving the barn further from the property line. Regarding um, department comments, uh, only the arborists have made a comment. It appears that no specimen trees will be removed in the area proposed for the barn. Recompense for the trees which will be removed will be between five and ten new trees. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Um, standards for consideration. Um, the uh, applicant stated and responds as follows. Our situation is a hardship due to the circumstance of our property being approximately 215 feet wide. The precise placement of the barn in that this location works for all environmental reasons, such as wind, drainage, and topogra topographical layout. I'm having problems with that word. We choose that the city of Milton, we chose the city of Milton to reside because of the horse-friendly community that it is. Recommended conditions. <coughs> Should the board choose to approve the application, staff recommends the following condition. The barn shall be painted in muted earth tone colors which match the house. And that is the end of staff report. Thank you. Any questions from the board to staff? Yes, sir. Um, is council in the midst of hearing a change in the ordinance regarding the um, placement of barns? Um, that's already a, a taken place. Um, the end of the summer, there was a text amendment, but it wouldn't have um, affected this uh, proposed barn. That was only dealing with um, if people were doing riding rings and rings and lighting, and but um, we still require all barns to be at least 100 feet away. So. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions to staff from the board? Will you please state your name and address and present for us? Yes, I'm Jeff Meyer. Uh, I'm the homeowner. This is my wife, Dawn. You know, she's a homeowner as well. Uh, just a quick uh, brief summary is, is that, as, as, uh, as Robin mentioned, that uh, you know, we sought out, we, we lived in Cobb County for 26 years. Uh, we were looking for a horse friendly community. Uh, North Fulton was, was very attractive to us for, for several different reasons, but the, the, the major reason. Uh, was the uh, equestrian friendly uh, neighbor neighborhoods and community uh, city of Milton even has the horse logo uh, in, in the uh, in the in the, in the city logo uh, so anyway we were very attracted to the area uh, so we sought out an equestrian subdivision which uh, was was Tullamore uh, is what we settled on uh, the property was perfect for what we wanted uh, we can keep two horses on the property uh, the house was perfect because we can build a new one there and we could design what we wanted so uh, we're going to reuse the foundation <clears> to <throat> reuse a lot of the all the horse fencing the landscaping and everything so uh, but after we you know we went through the due diligence and uh, uh, found out that, that there wasn't a the, uh, the the requirement that the barn be a hundred feet from the property line as as Robin mentioned we have about 215 feet so if we put it right in the middle uh, we'd still need a variance regardless but unfortunately right in the middle uh, from a topographic standpoint, doesn't quite work. The sloping is not there. The drainage, uh, there'd be too much earthwork. We'd have to take out uh, even more trees. Uh, so from a topographic standpoint, it, it, it wouldn't work. The, the best site uh, where it, it, it provides and lends itself to, you know, to easy construction, <coughs> drainage, uh, good drainage, uh, and, 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 and the health of the horses. Uh, was about 30 feet from the from the property line. Uh, you know, 30 feet would be from the edge of the barn, and then the barn would be approximately 36 feet long, 
that would go back towards the center of the uh, of the property. So if the other piece of property would probably be, you know, 30 feet or so to the center line of the property. So essentially, that's uh, that's that's where we're we're at right now. So we needed to get a variance. Um, from an aesthetic standpoint, uh, the, the barn will match the house. Uh, we're going to do um, stack stone uh, on the lower half of the barn and then shaker uh, uh, siding on, on, the, on the top. So, and, and from a color standpoint, we're going with earth tones anyway on the color of the house. So there will be earth tones uh, in, on the barn. So from an architectural standpoint, it, it will match. Now, from a, I guess really from a from a viewpoint, you can't see that from the front. You know, it's a it's a four and a half acre lot. Uh, you know, the house is there. We've got a lot of, a lot of trees and a lot of cover in the front. Uh, additionally, from from both sides of the house, we're, you know, there's there's really heavy tree cover uh, in between the homes there. Uh, the, the, the lot to our left, if you're looking at the house, I guess it'd be to the north, uh, is very heavily treed, um, and they have about a nine acre lot. Uh, the folks to the south of us have about a 12-acre lot. Uh, they've got a beautiful barn there, and they keep several horses. Uh, it's up for, for sale right now. So essentially, it's, it's very secluded back there. Uh, you can't see a whole heck of a lot anyway. Uh, again, it's a, the, the topography of the lot drops back towards the lake. Uh, so, you know, really from the house standpoint, the, the barn, actually the top of the barn will sit really lower than the, the foundation of the home. So that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, so... Oh, the, yeah, the adjacent neighbor where the 30-foot uh, difference between the, the property line, which uh, there's, a, there's a horse fence down, down that lot, is approximately 200 feet uh, from the barn. So there's, there's good distance from the home, the neighbor's home, to, to the barn itself. Same thing, and it drops from a topography standpoint. The elevation, uh, the top of the elevation is, is, is lower than the foundation of the neighbor's house. Go ahead. Have you talked, have spoken with this neighbor regarding your intentions? We have not. We had, we, we had, well, the neighbor, since the sign has been up, the neighbor to the south had called in, <clears throat> and once they found out it was on the other side, they were okay with it, but we have not spoken to the folks next door. Um, we, we were over there a couple of times. We, we still, we're, hopefully we'll have a permit Monday to start construction on a home. So we hadn't been out there a lot, so we, had, we really hadn't had a chance. And, and, and this this property, which I think you stated was to the north, yes, sir, um, or to the left as you're looking at the house, yes, sir. Do they have horses as well? They do not. So that property to the south is one with horses. Correct. Okay. And the topography, as you move towards the center and to the south, it becomes very steeply sloped. Correct. Okay. Correct. As we could, you know, we were certainly open to moving it to either side or you know moving it a little closer. But it's you know the, the, the topography does does not work. Okay. Without without some major site work. Understand. Yes, sir. Uh, you say you've talked to the neighbor on the other side from you. Are they happy that you're actually finishing up the house there and getting that from from basically that Halloween condition to something that hopefully will be a benefit to the community? I, well, I, I believe so. As I mentioned. Uh, they actually called into the city once they saw yeah, the sign. They called today. We had. In, well, yeah, the neighborhood. Yeah. Right. They actually approved our. They had to approve the um, the style of our home and you know, the drawings and everything, and they were just thrilled with it. So we can show you it'll be a gorgeous home, a gorgeous barn. We wouldn't spend that kind of money if we were going to just have sure. a junkyard. Was this your equestrian here? You a hunter jumper or you dressage? Hunter jumper, she does it all. Do you? Well, great. She's one of the reasons we uh, we're out we're out here and, and have a couple That's of horses. My my daughter does so. Okay. So hey, did you make the homeowners association aware of this intention? Any feedback they from them? Were they were fine with it. Okay. And they had to approve, like you know, Dawn said they had to approve the the style of the house. The you know our, we we had our architectural drawings sent in. Uh, the size, the, the location, and the same thing with the barn. So they, they've already given us approval for, uh, for, for construction. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? This time I'd like to open the floor to public comment. As there is none, 
You do have the opportunity to make a closing comment. Is there anything that you would like to say? Well, just in closing, you know, we would we would certainly appreciate the the, the variance. We're you know we're, we're certainly uh, want to do everything in compliance with the regulations. Uh, certainly respect uh, the fact that the community does have regulations, which is one of the reasons we you know we moved here. We're relocating from Cobb County to uh, to Fulton and specifically the city of Milton. Um, you know, we we are uh, from an aesthetic standpoint. Uh, we're adding value to the, to the neighborhood. Uh, it is an equestrian subdivision. Uh, horses are abundant in the neighborhood, uh, so we would we would appreciate uh, approval on the uh, on the variance. Any questions to staff from the board? Can I make just a comment? Yes, um, ma'am. We did the revision to the barn locations. There was one thing that we added just for your information if another barn comes up um, is that uh, not only do they have to be 100 feet from the property line, but also let's say if you gave a variance, it, it still has to stay 150 feet away from the adjacent residential structure. So in this instance, that structure is far away. Mm -hmm. But you may have a smaller lot or where the, the house is positioned. It could be at the 25 um, foot side yard, and you gave them a 30 foot side. You couldn't do that, or you'd have to get a variance for that 150 as well. So, just I don't know how many barns you actually get, but just for future reference, to, that's something we added in that was actually in the animal section, but we brought it over to the zoning. So, okay. you think we get more barns? Any other questions for staff? At this time, I'd like to close the public hearing. Thank you. And the floor is open for a motion. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion for approval of V12-015. This is to allow a barn to be within 30 feet from a side property line. That property line, I believe, would be the northern property line. And the reason for uh, my uh, recommendation is... Uh, I do feel like the same, uh, I think the barn is, uh, oh, excuse me, and the barn shall be painted in a muted earth tone color, which shall match the house. Um, I believe that the uh, approval of this variance does meet the, uh, the intent um, of the neighborhood. This is an equestrian neighborhood, and I believe that, uh, as they stated, it's something that they do have. I think also... Uh, from the standpoint of that meeting with the homeowners association and giving the community a chance to look at their plan and, and having shown that um, and then lastly that uh, i feel like uh, because of the topography and the size and the shape and where it's being located it doesn't represent a, a problem with the community for it to be placed there we have a second i'll second second todd Turner. Mm -hmm. we have a motion and a second to approve <coughs> discussion um, I'd like to clarify, when you when you um, stated your motion, you said to allow a barn within 30 feet. And I think you meant to allow a barn to be 30 feet from a side uh, yes, property sir. line. Yes, sir. Okay. So if I can correct that, to allow a barn to be 30 feet from the side property line, which I believe to be the north property line. Any other discussion? Sorry. We have a motion and a second to approve B12-015 to allow a barn to be 30 feet from a side property line with the following condition. The barn should be painted in muted earth tone colors which match the house. All in favor, raise your right hand. Oppose, same side. Pass unanimously. Congratulations. Good luck. Congratulations. Welcome to Milton. Yeah. Thank you. Look Enjoy. forward to having you be a resident. Good luck to you. When do you move in? Well, the house is supposed to be finished uh, by our oldest son's wedding day. Oh. Oh. 
Back it up a few weeks then. <laughs> that means you're close, huh? Good luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hope everything goes well. At this time, I'd like to reopen V12-014. The applicant will come forward again. Did you come up with the letter, sir? No, sir. It wasn't in the folder. I'll get something emailed over. Uh, counsel here gave me his business card. I will get something on his email first thing in the morning, and I guess I will see you guys in 30 days. Have to do, do you want to make me to make a motion? Yes, yes. We have to move to, to, to defer. So, so just to clarify, so that Atlanta Pools understands going forward, and you may can relay this to your, um, I guess it's Mickey Lehman? Correct. So any pool structure that is outside of the Envelope side of the lines of the, of the home is, is going to be a problem. Um, Excuse me, it's not the pool, it's just the fireplace. Actually, pools can go up to 10 feet to the property line with no deference to side setbacks. So it, this is only feet, addressing the fire. That, that's that close. Correct. Okay. I'm sorry? 10 feet? Yes. Yes. Decking, everything. Uh, yeah, your that's pool deck. We haven't had this problem ever before. And we've, I, I would say we've probably pulled 200 permits plus since we've been building, since you guys have become a city. This is brand new to our, you know, hmm. I, I'm not walking in here not knowing this. This is really brought to our attention. Um, and we got caught in the middle of this permit and it's holding up a CO. Okay, um, and building and the fireplace. So, and is this strictly for a fire fireplace yes, way, and or a fire pit? Correct. Well, that's actually, it says in the um, ordinance, can I switch it over? I think there's a six foot elevation. You know, in some counties, anything above grade is considered a structure or below grade. That's for site county ordinance. And it says um, outdoor residential, single family residential, townhouse used for single family on individual lots of record. Outdoor fireplaces and outdoor uncovered kitchens, whether standalone or constructed as a part of a patio, retaining wall or other structure may only be located in the rear yard and may extend no more than 10 feet into the minimum rear yard. Um, in no case shall an outdoor fireplace be closer than 10 feet to a property line. Um, so it does not address fire pit. Correct. I believe, and again, Angela's the one who does most of the reviewing, so I think the fire pit would just have to stay out of the minimum yards, but the actual structure of a fireplace. And I do believe you all have heard some other fireplace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Very I want common. them to let the applicant know that this is not the first time you guys have seen fireplaces. Oh, no. Okay. Well, the reason I wanted to make it clear is he's suggesting that there may be a fire pit next door, and if that's going to be an right. issue, you know, shame I mean, once, don't do it twice. This is a surprise to me as it is. You guys have already heard it. This is a surprise to us. Yes, we should have caught up to the county codes and read it before we built the fireplace and got a permit. Agree with that 100%. Um, any other county, that doesn't even apply. Um, there's no permit for a fireplace. Um, but oh. we haven't run into this before. I don't know if we hasn't been brought to our attention that we've been doing something that wasn't proper or, or if it, that was just implemented. May, no, maybe you just got caught. Is that what it is? Because <laughs> I'm under the understanding. Because nothing that new has been implemented is what we're saying. So that's nothing new. Okay. Well, well I think if, if you stated that it was a fire pit at the time of um, permitting, then that's what Angela saw when she reviewed it was a fire pit. And that makes sense. So at least in this circumstance, yeah, I think that's yeah. explainable why it was not caused. Okay. I was going to ask, can we um, ask uh, for them to provide a letter from the nearest neighbor within 10 days just so that we can have that You'll for our you. next meeting? Or, or you make it as a condition of condition. our approval? Yeah. 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 Okay. There's, there's, there's no need to have it yeah. come you'll back. Have, you'll have it in the yeah. morning. Great. That That'll would be, be perfect. perfect. Like I mentioned, cancel, uh, pass along an uh, email address that we can get it to. And we're under contract with the neighbor, so yeah. they know, obviously. The Same neighbor. Make, make the motion, Nancy. So. Nancy, make the motion. Okay. Um, uh, I move that, um, what is the company name? We approve. We approve. B, we approve. B, 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 is that B no, twelve no. is this one? That's B eleven. It's, it's actually B twelve. B twelve dash zero one four dash zero one four to uh, provide. Um, no, no, read that statement right there. Okay, hold on one second. The bold part of the front right there. Read that. To allow a fireplace in the side yard, 
um, provided that a letter from the nearest adjoining neighbor uh, agrees to this and this will be submitted within 10 days of this hearing does that make does that work for everybody okay. I, I, I'd give him three I don't think he needs 10 well we got the okay. holiday. but yeah, the holiday why. and you know holiday, anything so. could happen it should be just a simple click in the morning but yeah okay, okay. 10 days. and he might be out of town he might not get it right. you can send 10 days. Okay. I'll second that motion we have a motion and a second to approve any discussion We have a motion to approve V12-014 to allow a fireplace in the side yard with the condition that the applicant provide a letter from the adjoining neighbor within 10 days of today's date. Letter of no opposition. Letter of no opposition within 10 days of today's date. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Hang on. Wait. With the vote. <laughs> oh. All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed, same side, I pass unanimously. Good luck. You guys have, I'm have sorry, a who made the second on that? Walt did. Walt did. Right. You guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Okay. You, you too. too. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, now. Important stuff. Important thing. We have two items of business number one we have to talk about a christmas party and number two mr Chernick would like a holiday party holiday party excuse me and number no, two mr Chernick christmas would like to know if we're going to get angela a christmas a holiday, holiday gift, gift. This, this year <laughs> was she a good girl or a bad uh, you know can, do we have to do this on can, can you adjourn first yeah. And then you can yeah. i make a motion to adjourn the november 2012 bza meeting this is your first motion thank you very much i need a I second. second good discussion <laughs> All in favor, raise your right hand and pass unanimously. Thank you, Robin.